Lisa Punchinello. Lisa Punchinello was the Don's wife. Mona Sachs. Lisa's evil twin. Your safety's off, evil twin. You might hurt someone with that gun of yours. Lisa's the damsel in distress. I'm the professional. I'd blow you away without batting an eye. Sure. And you can check out my credentials splattered all over this joint. Jack couldn't have framed you. Not the state he was in. We're after the same slime bag. Angelo Quincinello's the one who murdered your friend and framed you with it. You know this for a fact. I've got my sources. I don't have a clue these days. I just shoot them as they come. Who put a contract on the Archfiend? This one's mine. I hate the guts of that sadistic wife beater. Why not pool our bullets for this one? I thought you'd never ask. My finger was starting to twitch. How do you like your whiskey? I'm easy, as long as you don't try to slip me a Mickey. You're a real angel, Max. It was good stuff. It tasted sweet as honey going down. Nothing personal. Can't risk you going berserk and getting loose to camp. <laughs> The nightmare was always the same. Violent shapes moving in darkness, old and ugly. The killer's mad laughter was a riddle filled with wicked innuendo. Somewhere, the baby was crying. snoring next to Lupino's corpse. A comedian. The pictures were filled with good old times. Alex and I had a few moments of glory between us. Crime-fighting comrades. The best in NYPD DEA collaborative team. Good-hearted macho bullshit like that. I would have given anything to have him here as my backup. No such luck. No luck at all. Michelle looked at me from the photo. The Payne family. Happiness captured in a Polaroid moment. I had thought it would last forever. Till death do us part. I didn't want to think about it. As long as I didn't, it could never happen. But I had broken my own rule. The thought had already slipped in. Fear was rusty needles poking at my brain. Cold and scaly, it slithered down my chest.
No. No, no, please, God, no. Bits, vaporize them, disintegrate them. No matter what you do, they'll still be back good as new. Michelle's diary lay on the table. Michelle was working part-time in the district attorney's office. Her diary was open on today's entry, her handwriting all pretty curves. An army dossier found its way to my desk yesterday. Valhalla? Isn't that a Norse myth? Something about Vikings? I tried to tell Max about it, but he was busy. That cute frown on his brow. I guess it's nothing, just a mix-up at the courier service. From now on, I would always find time for her. It was a hollow promise. Too little, too late. Killed her! Nothing like that ever happens in the real world. <laughs> 